burn it a boat, it'll be on his rounds. Back at camp, beyond that fence, a lane through me and beyond is the rainbow. One of Alan's frequent joints. Again, you can see one company's block coming in. And the back of the block taken over again by massive vegetation and trees. Right, we'll take you on round along set of blocks. And they're sellers of one company. Looking right down the lane towards the MT sheds in the far distance, there's one and two company blocks. Believe it or not, you're now walking onto a drill square, or what's left of a drill square. Step Sharmar! Get the lad! Looking right towards the sergeant's mess, again through them trees, you can just make out the apexes and windows. Straight ahead there, get the cook house. The bean stealers as well. I did it myself. Alan's found his pace stick. Start puppies! Looking up the top of the square now towards the officer's mess. Again, every single part of this drill square has now been taken over by a tree of some kind. How trees grow in drill squares, I don't know. But they always say guardsmen stand in one place long enough to grow roots. Just keep looking on there and you'll see the light green patch, which is the astroturf. Solid hard rubber. And for the drunk ones, they used to frequent the Nafi before they went out to the dens of iniquity. Running across to beat the 10 o'clock curfew, flying across that Astro turf, ready to hit the drill square, which was unlit at the time. Would always remember this little green fence, just about ankle height, just enough to crack your bone as you went flying over it and you were left with a sprawling pile of spew on the drill square. There it is. The battalion's way of secretly ambushing you. Again, looking along the drill square, taken over by trees. Goal post still up. Many a good game on here, many a bit of crack. And then just in the far distance you'll just see starting the roof of the gymnasium. As you come round through the trees again you'll see the MT shed starting and the MT. End of the football pitch, the quartermaster's department at the back, and then the sergeant's mess. Looking back round, right, headquarter company, drums and pipes, one company.
for any of the ones watching YouTube that haven't got a clue what we're filming, this is Wavell Barracks in the Spandau district of Berlin. We're in 1990 until 1992, the first battalion Irish Guards. Spent two years, two cracking years. So myself and Mr. Alan Aiken, as you see walking gracefully across the football pitch, like he's just finished 90 minutes. I've just acquired access. I'm just taking a wee trip down memory lane. Walking towards the cook house now. And just to the right of the cook house was the old school. And back into the cook house there, main entrance to the kitchen. I'm sorry about dining hall. Moving down now, football pitches on our left hand side towards where the Naffy MT area would be in the small church. On the right, the battalion clock that never worked. Well, we never knew the time anyway because they always fell us in with their backs to the clocks. You're looking through the trees across the football pitch, you're looking towards the two companies block. And to the right as we're looking at that now is the officer's mess. Looking back up towards the cook house and I think it was called Edinburgh School. On the right starting to appear now is the gymnasium. The road to the left facing the gym takes you down towards the company blocks again around the edge of the old square towards the officer's mess. Again, hidden by the trees, but if you look down you can just make out the company blocks. Service and bay on the left hand side there. Vehicle wash. Gymnasium. <laughs> 